chosen to work on prostate cancer in my laboratory because it's a very large health problem that affects huge numbers of men. Furthermore, there isn't the amount of research going on that I think should be going on to address this very large problem. For a long time I've been interested in how cells move in the body during disease processes. And in prostate cancer a big problem that happens is that uh, the, the cells that are normally in the prostate and normal function in the prostate become disorganised and gain some kind of intelligence within them that allows them then to, to spread to places like the bone. My father died from prostate cancer when I was 15. So obviously that was um, kind of, I would say, a very difficult experience because uh, certainly at that age I would still uh, love to spend more years with him and uh, obviously I would have loved to uh, have him for longer. The latest project that we have funded by the prostate cancer charity is to investigate how prostate cells spread to other parts of the body. This process is called metastasis and this is a very important process because uh, most of the uh, prostate cancer related morbidity and mortality is linked to metastasis. So I've been studying a molecule called ENDO180 which we believe is a target uh, for metastatic prostate cancer and that's prostate cancer that has spread to the bone. We think that endo by blocking endo we might be able to A, stop the spread to the bone and B, uh, stop the bone from breaking once the cancer's arrived there. We are trying to understand basic mechanisms of how tumours grow and once we understand these mechanisms we can then see if there's ways of um, mucking around with them or changing them such that we can slow down tumour growth. If I hadn't received my grant from the Prostate Cancer Charity um, things would have slowed up considerably. It was actually the very first grant I was awarded as an independent researcher and it um, enabled me to set up my lab, enable my lab to flourish to the size it is now. There are now many people in my lab working on Endo 180. I would support the prostate cancer charity because they're willing to fund really innovative and novel lines of research. Now this research has to be done over periods of decades because it's basic research, but it's absolutely vital that we do it because it forms the basis um, upon which new treatments and interventions can be built. Nowadays we really count on people who give money to prostate cancer charity because that's one of the major sources where people like me or any other researchers in prostate cancer field can get money to support their research. The prostate cancer charity is one of the biggest hopes for men with prostate cancer. It funds projects that will really make a difference to men's lives and I'm 100% behind this mission of the charity and I would I would recommend that anyone who is able to support the charity in their future endeavours.